So lipodystrophy is really, if you think about it, lipo being fat and dystrophy being wasting, if you break it down to that. Um, it is essentially a group of diseases that have disproportionate um, or complete absence of fat. So generalized lipodystrophy has head to toe fat loss, so no adipose tissue, and that's the fat underneath your skin. And then partial lipodystrophy has that disproportionate amount of fat. So uh, most people with partial lipodystrophy don't have fat in their limbs. Um, my type is type two, and so I store excess fat from here up. And, but there's another type where you can store fat from here up and in your trunk, but still not have the limb fat. And I mean, really ultimately what science is discovering is that your adipose tissue needs to be evenly distributed throughout your body or quote unquote normally distributed throughout your body to function, um, to have the endocrine function normally. And so when it's disproportionate, uh, it doesn't it doesn't function normally. So what that results in is is a phenotype, uh, a visual phenotype that's very interesting to see. Um, ultimately, uh, people with generalized or partial are confused for looking like they're professional athletes. They tend to be very muscular, and then you can see the vascular system because there's a lack of fat that covers. Even even a small layer of fat would cover the muscle and the and the veins, um, and then also because our fat doesn't have anywhere safe to store, it hangs out in our blood and organs, and one of those um, areas is also muscle. So we tend to be more muscular because fat will store in our muscle, which. Um, looks kind of cool, but that contributes uh, extensively to the disease. So lipodystrophy is also a multi-system disease. It has been widely thought of as a metabolic disease, and investigators have looked at what happens with the, the very high lipids um, and the very severe insulin resistance that leads to uh, diabetes and uh, you know, hypertriglyceridemia, high cholesterol, ultimately NASH, and then the NASH, the non-alcoholic fatty liver essentially, can uh, then progress into cirrhosis. So because the fat is storing in our organs, um, it, it can lead to full organ failure. Um, and again, because we look uh, very muscular, there's kind of a confusion that we're very healthy, but, but internally we're quite obese or we behave as an obese body would. Um, as I mentioned, it's multi-system. So the metabolic is, a, is something that they've looked at, it's very important to us. But we also have issues that we're really trying to focus on that are true burdens of the disease for patients. So individuals with lipodystrophy may have severe hyperphagia, um, often equated to the hyperphagia that those with Prader-Willi would um, experience. So uh, we, de we define hangry. Um, when, you, when your body thinks it's starving, um, it really just goes into food-seeking behavior. So, and there's, there's really no treatment for that for partial lipodystrophy. Um, there's also a lot of pain associated that's not well understood, probably because fat doesn't belong in your muscle. And it does belong in between your joints, your bones, your spine, and our fat doesn't, it doesn't hang out there. That's what I, I like to say. It hangs out in all the wrong places. Um, and then sleep issues. Uh, you know, it's, again, when you're looking at the whole body head to toe, our, our patients can see up to 10 specialists just to take care of each organ.